This is Mutton Chop Piper, and we are on another uh, mutton journey. Uh, today we're here at the original uh, Strauss Tobacconist in Cincinnati, Ohio. This uh, company has been around since 1880. Um, so this, this is not the original location, but it was the location that they settled in after they uh, left their original location and came here. So we're gonna go in and take a look around and see what they have to offer. Uh, see if it's any better, any worse, or about the same as the satellite uh, to Strauss Tobacconist in Florence, Kentucky. So come on in, let's take a look. So we're inside the shop. Uh, as you can see, uh, they've got a good collection of pipes here for sale. Um, and they've got some house blends of tobacco and plus some tins. Um, it's a little bit smaller shop, I think, than the Florence shop, um, but it, it is the original one, so. Um, so I'll let you take a look around. So, so this is the smoking area uh, in Strauss. Uh, these chairs are really nice. They're really nice. Uh, feel like leather, I'm not sure if they are, but it's a really nice setup to what they've got here, so. And then they've got a picture of the owners there, I think. Back in 19, the picture says back in 1922. They've got some pouches and lighters here. Pouches and lighters and a lot of tobacco stuff that they use for uh, cigars and such. God, they do have a humidor as well. So if you wanted a cigar, you're tired of smoking your pipe and you'd like to have a cigar, they are, there are plenty here to choose from.
Well, here we are again at Strauss. Wait a minute, we've already gone to Strauss. No, this is Strauss in Florence, Kentucky. Now, <clears throat> years ago, I did a video of this location. Um, so we thought since we did Strauss in Cincinnati, we might as well check the one in Florence to see if anything has changed. So let's go in and take a look around. So this is the Florence location. It's, I don't think it's really changed a whole lot since the last video I did. Um, uh, this area at the time was where they had uh, their uh, house blends. Um, and then they've got a good selection of pipes here and some tin tobaccos and some supplies in the back there as well. I'm not sure if we looked at their humidor. We can take a look at that <clears throat> since we have gone through um, the other locations and checked out their humidors. But it's about the same size, about the same size as the other humidors that we've visited, but they've got a great selection of, of cigars. Uh, from any, I mean, I mean they've got you know, prices uh, um, $9.95 to all the way to like $17.20. They've got uh, $4.50. There's a good price for if you're looking for just a uh, low budget cigar to some high end uh, product. So <clears throat> if you're looking for a good cigar, this would be a great location to come. This is kind of cool, check that out. They also have a selection of lighters, uh, Zippos, Vertigos. And then back in the back, they've got a area where you can uh, smoke, uh, smoke your tobacco or uh, smoke your pipe or a um, cigar. Um, and then um, they have also got accessories. So, so if you're in the Florence area uh, and you're looking for a place to pick up a cigar and have a smoke before you get on a plane or before you uh, keep on traveling, this is, uh, this is a place to come. Uh, they got some great house tobaccos. They've got plenty of, of uh, tin tobacco. So um, if you're looking for whatever you're looking for, smoke wise, um, Strauss has it. This, this is the location that I would suggest come. Um, it's still as great uh, a location as it was those many years ago that I did a video before. So, all right, well, we're gonna be talking with Joe Bellucci. He is a tobacconist here at, uh, at Strauss. And uh, we're gonna ask him a few questions. Um, how long has this location been here, do you know? Uh, about 13 years. We were up the street for uh, about eight years before that. Oh, okay. Um, and I think I know the answer to this, but I'm, I'm gonna hear from you. What is your, what is the blend that sells the most? Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow. Our, this our is, autumn blend that yep. we've sent it all over the world, every continent with the exception of Antarctica because the penguins haven't found out about it yet. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Uh, yes, that, that, this is what Strauss uh, tobacco uh, tobacconists are known for is Sleepy Hollow. Uh, it's a great aromatic blend um, and every, f I think it comes out in August. 
uh, usually end of August through Halloween. August through Halloween. And then you sometimes, I'm not saying, you know, don't call and say, well, Mutt Chop Piper said. No, ever so often if they don't sell out, they may have a little bit after that, but pretty much um, Halloween is when they stop. Yeah, if you've, if stop you've placed your order before Halloween, it will be filled. Okay, so there you go. But there you, go. Uh, you might check April 1st every now and then too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, thanks for talking to us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Um, um, thanks for coming in. It's a great shop, and we've we've been I've been here before uh, when I was a young YouTuber and. And I just wanted to come back and do a revisit to see, you know. Right. It's uh, it's, it, it's what is this? This is what this place is about. Everybody that works here started out as a customer. Yeah. So it was either dust us or hire us, and here we are. There you go. And every, every, we're all pretty knowledgeable about it because we have the passion for. Tobacco. That's it, and that's that's the one thing about being um, doing these videos on YouTube is I. And I think that people have told me this. I just have a passion for pipe smoking. I want to. I wanted to immerse myself in the knowledge and, and to pass that knowledge on to um, those. My concern was uh, the new pipe smoker. New pipe smoker comes up. They come in. They get a. They get a pipe. Uh, they go home. They try to smoke it like a cigarette. Next thing you know, they get tongue bite they get and they're done with it. Sure. Right. We so try my to help goal them through that when they're coming in. A lot of people will say, "Hey." I want to buy my first pipe. What do I do? Well, there you I, go. first of all, I'm taking them over to the bale of corn cobs. Yeah, yeah. Say this is the way to start. Yep. And if you're frustrated with it, don't yeah. don't go any further. You haven't put a lot of money in. Right. There. There's no point in putting a hundred dollars into a pipe That's if, right. it, if you're not going to smoke it twice and be done with it. That's right. But a lot of people don't, they just think they need that, but they don't realize they need a tamp. They're going to need pipe cleaners. Yep. And some kind of nice mild blend to start with. Yep. Ours is Lasantaville. That's usually where I send them. Yeah, and uh, it's it's probably the one that sells almost as much as the Sleepy Hollow does. Because once people learn on that and they like it, they come back to it. Time to expand. Yep. But then we've got you know we've got guys that have been smoking pipe for forty years that buy that all the time. That's right. Yep. By the pound. Yeah, that's and that's what being a responsible uh, tobacconist is. They don't just sell you a pipe and sell you what you need and send you on your way they try to make sure that you at least understand how to smoke a pipe and how to clean it and how to light it and how to pack it um, all those things are taught to you um, uh, by uh, these fine gentlemen that work here uh, they're also taught by me but um, if you you know if you're wanting some um, some personal attention by someone then then an, an honorable tobacconist is where to go so we'll help you the best way we can yep joe pleasure talking to you, you sir pleasure thank talking you very to you. much thanks for stopping in sure Okay guys, as you can see, it's dark. As you can see, uh, if you look in the window, you'll see that gentleman tobacconist is sweeping the floor. We close down Strauss's in, uh, here in Florence. I'm telling you, the guys are great. They're, you walk in, they'll help you. They, they know their stuff and they've got great tobacco. We bought, look here, a big bag full of tobacco. Um, and uh, if you're gonna come, if you're coming through uh, Northern Kentucky uh, on your way to through Cincinnati or any other place like that, uh, please stop by. You will not be sorry. Till my next video, I want to wish you and your family happy piping.